All right, number three, Cincinnati taking on UCF this weekend. I can't believe I just said number three, Cincinnati. As we continue to have all eyes on the Bearcats, the question is, what does all of this mean for them moving forward? How challenging will it be for them to focus through the rest of the season knowing what is on the line? Eric McLean, does, are they in a situation where they can just win or do they have to win with style in your mind? Well, for starters, when you talk about what's on their mind, I mean, they need to fully understand the opportunity that is here. They need to understand how important this is. And when you talk about, okay, do they, they slip up now? They played all their tough games. They played their most difficult games. I don't see how that's possible. You, you are presented with the first ever real chance for a group of five team to get in this college football playoff. And I think it's almost going to be like, blood in the water guys and they're a big shark that they're going to go after people and you know really try to dominate now when you ask that question it really depends you know where are they going to be on this first college football playoff ranking if they're outside of the top four then sure I, I think there's a real chance that they have to impress people more but if they're not if they're at three or four I think they just have to win and, and maybe by double digits maybe by 10 points and they'll be fine yeah I think they have to I would disagree with you Eric I think they got to blow people out of the water. I really do believe that. We get it. It's a group of five team. It's Cincinnati. We also understand they have an opportunity. I think they understand the opportunity as well. And Desmond Ritter and the Cincinnati football team does not want to leave anything to chance. They want to blow people out of the water, and I think they're going to. I'm talking winning by 20, by 30. And if you can win by 40, number one. And then number two, what they need the most is for SMU to continue to win. Right now, SMU is undefeated. They're ranked in the top 25. If SMU keeps on winning and then they meet SMU late, late November, you get another ranked win on your schedule. Now, all of a sudden, you didn't, know, you didn't only beat Indiana. You didn't only beat Notre Dame. Now you beat a ranked SMU. You win your conference. There should be no questions asked. And so I'm not concerned about a slip up at all by Cincinnati. I think they're dialed in and ready to rock and roll. All right, Nacho, stick there for a second. Then let's say they go undefeated. Are they into the playoffs in your mind? Absolutely. Absolutely. Er Eric and I got a chance a few weeks ago to sit in with some of the, the CFP selection committee and kind of hear how they go through their process. And I believe if you have an undefeated Cincinnati team, a team that beat everyone on their schedule, number one, a team that wins their division, number two, and a team that beats ranked opponents handily, which I'm assuming that they're going to with SMU added, then there's no way you can't have them, in my opinion, as one of the top four teams. If you're deciding who's in the top four, I think if they do what they're called to do, they will be in that conversation hands down. Absolutely. I mean, they, they check all the boxes and they have a very fun team. You've got a quarterback in Desmond Ritter that can throw the ball all over the yard is such a great leader. I would say one of the best leaders in all of college football. And if they're sitting there, guys, undefeated, I don't think there's any question. And that's why I say, really, you know, they don't have to win by 30. I think they just have to handle business. Now, if it's some one point wins and, and there's a, a, a power five team out there that has a one loss in a conference championship, then it's kind of like, okay, which of these teams is actually better? Uh, but if they can win by, I think, at least 10. 10 my magic number. Acho's out here saying 30-point dubs. At uh -uh. least give me 20, Emac. Give me 20. I don't, I don't, you know, we, we were in the meeting. A 10-point win. I don't want a 10-point win over Navy, a 10-point win over UCF. I need to beat you, UCF, Navy, all these teams by 21 skunk. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm Team Acho with this one because that mock committee also teaches you game control is an important metric. So they're going to have to win, I think, big. Hey, even hey, hey, hey. So they talked about game control. That's a myth. They said we don't know where that came from. It's not real. They well, clowned us for that. This is true. This is true. This is yeah, true. This well, is true. then they've changed it from when I did it. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.